All right, there we go. Anyway, uh, um, yeah. So it's just it's got all the usual functions from a, a calculator like this, you know, one and you got two and stuff. But um, we removed one of the channels to be dedicated to RAM, which is this here. So um, I'll just do a quick demonstration of that, then I'll get into the how the thing actually works and what the hell is underground. Alright, so we'll go one and a two. Oh, please note this, that this, um, it's kind of in an upgrade process. We're really upgrading the CPU as it's not supporting the RAM properly. Anyway, so we've got, um, a three inputted into the current bus, or whatever it's called. I'm not very good. Um, so now we can go ahead and add it to the RAM, which involves clearing it, clearing the current block, then applying whatever we've got in that into the RAM, which is eight um, eight bits, and we've got four four slots of eight bits, which makes sixteen. No, which makes eight um, four bytes of RAM. Anyway, so now we've got that saved into the RAM by pushing that button. We can come over here and disable it. Then we flick the switch and eventually, after quite a while, they'll come on. Yay! Um, so now we can do, the, no matter what, we can duplicate the RAM. So we've got that activated. Now we can come over to RAM slot number two. Uh, wipe it with, from previous experiments and apply whatever's in that into it. So now um, when we turn this one off and this one on it should come back on. So there we go. You can also do things like um, one plus whatever's in slot one equals number. There we go. Yay! Uh, it pretty much works like that. Anyway, um, yeah, our problems with it, like the fact that you can't add stuff from slot 1 into slot 2 because they're all going into the same bus back to the adders, so it doesn't work well. Yeah. Um, anyway, so now I'll, I'll go and explain it. If that's possible, really, I'm not too sure. So, out of the outputs, it comes into the Ripple Carry adders. Yeah, we're using Ripple Carry at the moment. That's why it's going under a big upgrade. Um, so basically, just Google it. I'm not going to explain those. Yeah. Anyway, so coming along, um, then what happens is. We're only using one of the two um, inputs from the ripple carry adders to actually go into the um, yeah. So only one of them is actually coming from the input. Um, yeah. Uh, so then the output comes into the bus, which the bus actually goes in two directions, and um, that way goes to the output and that's the word for it yay um and this way comes to the input uh to the ram which is quite a yeah it's confusing anyway the RAM. do what now Let me show you the RAM. yeah all right anyway so here we are um at the ram mm. Stupid Windows updates. Anyway, um, so what happens is it comes from this bus into the actual RAM unit and it goes into a um, vertical um, AND gate which is also connected um, and so they're all connected. So when, um, so I think over, oh yeah, over here um, we've got uh, this is yeah. This is one and two 
inputted. So, um, as you can see here, when um, that the output here isn't on because the other input isn't running it. So, AND gate, you know, just learn. Um, you know, it comes out of the AND gate into the RAM module, which is just a D flip flop. And I'm not going to really explain that as there are tutorials on how to do them on the internet and you can find them on the Minecraft wiki under advanced, or not advanced, it's just an electronic circuits. Anyway, coming from the deep no. flip flop, we come into the actual, oh, behind this, we've got, um, here, here this is, um, the reset memory bus basically it goes all the way back to the um, main hub as you can see there yeah it comes down and um, yeah uh, whenever this powers up it basically to. reverts what's ever saved into um, the, in the memory the back to what it should be at the start there. And as you can see here, yeah, these two are, are and, both um, saved into the RAM. And yeah. So anyway, yeah, coming out of here, no matter what's in the RAM, it outputs as on or off. Um, it on is having a signal. So yeah, you can see, you can see here, here continues on and on. Um, the then it comes to this, yeah. which so is anyway, out of a here, whole no nother um, AND gate. Yeah, that's right, and gate. Yeah, um, and signal out so from the end gate, it dumps it back um, then it into this bus. This, oh, yeah, the end and gate goes all the way the back to the hub, um, and that's the um, yeah, uh, apply um, current and data and into current sum. So yeah, that's basically that. Then it comes down from this, and over here, walk, walk, walk. Uh, um, then yeah, then this dumps it back into the second input into the yeah, um, basically that. Then So yeah, that's basically how it works. Um, then yeah, uh, yeah, I shouldn't really up it should I upload the save? The second uh, yeah, right. Um, yeah, optimize and then upload. So, so yeah, that's basically yeah. how it works. Well, it um, hardly needs cleaning yeah, up, uh, really. I shouldn't really um, should I upload the save? I mean, it looks pretty good. <laughs> anyway, yeah, so. Yeah, this yeah, took us around three days, upload. casually. So, it didn't actually yeah. take long. Well, like people were saying, oh, we worked for weeks really on the CPU. Um, you know, I I started. Anyway, yeah, so five. Minutes, yeah, twelve yeah, hours maximum, probably. Yeah, casually. I'd say twelve. Yeah. Um, I mean, we I did make a V1 way 